Good afternoon. Um, we draw on grace from the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Father, we thank you for another time of worship and another time of declaration, another time of prayer. Father, we pray and ask for your spirit, O oh God. Or oh, says that we two or more are gathered in your name, Father, you are in your midst. Father, we we have gathered in your name and we pray that you come and dwell among us, O oh God. Let everything that we do, everything that we say be led by you. Let your spirit come and dwell in us, let your spirit come and dwell in our presence, let your spirit be amongst us as we we pray, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I just want us to speak in tongues for a bit and edify ourselves and yeah, let's just speak in tongues for a bit and just edify ourselves. Nimadusanta <laughs> Emanu Satande, King Nadudu, Shana Maria Sutan, Libria Sutande, Nemadu Satate, Akun de Bia Sutan, Libra do Satan, Nimunda da Dia Sutan, Libra de Satsunda, Bria Sutan, Diaco Shatada, Nibro da Dia Sete, Bro Shatata, Kiaco Satamandu Rabo Shatta, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Moshan, and Yakun, Nariadu Shatan, Nidia Sutan. Mano Yerkunda Rabu Shania Kunda Radia Sutan, the Bruda Satin Dia Kusa Tabadia, Nimano Nuno Kandi Rabu Shatta, the Badia Sutan, the Cabradi Satin, the Yakusha de Ribu Shatta, the Bania Kunda Rabadia Sutan, the Brado Shatta, the Brado Shatta, the Cradia Kusata, the Manu Nanu Shatta, the Yakunda Rabu Shatta, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Mashu to Librianu Shatan, the Cadu Shatta. Libron de Akunda Rataria Suta, Libabo Shata, Mira Nana no Sata, Kadiandu, Renu Shata, the Akus Sata, in the name of Jesus, Madu Shani Akunda Riabo Shata, Mani Akus Sata, Nibradu Sata, Nibu Shata. Scripture says that I will send you the seasonal rains 
the land will then yield its crops, and the trees of the field will produce their fruit. Please let's go on. Your, tr- your threshing season will overlap with the grape harvest, and your grape harvest will overlap with the season of planting grain. You will eat your fill and live securely in your own land. I will give you peace. I will give you peace in the land, and you will be able you will be able to sleep with no cause for fear. I will rid the land of wild animals and keep your enemies out of your land. In fact, you will chase down your enemies and slaughter them with your swords. We are going to thirteen. So, five of you. Five of you will chase a hundred, and a hundred of you will chase ten thousand. All your enemies will fall beneath your sword. I will look favorably upon you, making you fertile and multiplying your people, and I will fulfill my covenant with you. You will have such you will have such a surplus of crops that you will need clear you you will have such a surplus of crops that you will need to clear out the old grain to make room for the new harvest. I will live among you, and I will not despise you. I will walk among you. I will walk among you. I will be your God, and you will be my people. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. So you would no longer be their slaves. I broke the yoke of slavery from your neck, so you can walk with your heads held high. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, so you would no longer be their slaves. I broke the yoke of slavery, and from your neck, you will, and from your neck, so you can walk with your heads held high. So we are going to take the scripture one by one and just pray through it. We'll take the scripture apart and just pray through it. So the conference is go back to the verse four. The verse four says that I will send you seasonal rains. The land will then yield its crops, and the trees of the field will produce its fruit. I will send you seasonal rains. The land will then yield its crops, and the trees of the field will produce its roots. It will produce their fruit. Right now we are in the year of open heavens. So I just want us to declare that I will enjoy the good of this land. Because you see, when the scripture says, I will send you to now, you know that, for instance, in Ghana, there's a time when it rains. And when it rains, the earth needs to yield its fruit. So if it's sending us seasonal rains, it means it's going to rain all around us. It's going to rain all around us that we have abundance of fruit, that the land will be fed enough to yield us the fruit that we look for. To yield us the fruit that we look for. So I, I feel like it's a literal meaning to the open heaven. So it's open unto us. There's this song that I'm confident, the song that I, if you can project the lyrics for me, Let the rain of your presence fall on me. If you know how to sing it out, I want us to sing it together because it's a declaration on its own. Every day that I live, with every breath I breathe, let the rain of your presence fall on me. Everywhere that I go, Lord, let your presence fall, rain on me. Let the rain of your presence fall on me. Every day that I live, 
with every breath I breathe. Let the rain of your presence fall on me. Everywhere that I go, Lord, let your presence flow. Rain on me. Let the rain of your presence fall on me. Every day that I lay, with every breath I breathe, let the rain of your presence fall on me. Everywhere that I go, Lord, let your presence fall, rain on me. Let us receive the rain of the Lord. Let us pray that the Lord will cause his rain to fall on us. Let us pray that the Lord will open the heavens and cause his rain to fall on us. That we receive the former and the latter rain. That we receive the rains of the Lord. That every rain that is caused for us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that the rains will fall all around us. The rains will fall on us. Let the rain of His presence fall on us. That the rain of the Lord, the rain of the Lord, will fall on us. That we will not miss it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We will not miss the rain of the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Madu shete kegiado shata di brunda di aseti. That the rain of the Lord will fall on us in the name of the Lord Jesus. That every day that we live, with every breath that we take, with every step that we take, with every breath that we take in. With every breath that we breathe out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that the rain of the Lord will rain on us, O God. That the presence of the Lord will rain on us, that the rain of the Lord will rain on us. That the seasonal rains will rain on us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That our lands will be able to yield its crops in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That our lands will be able to yield its crops and our trees will be able to bear its fruits. That our trees will not will be able to bear its fruits. That it will not just be there and not bear any fruit because the scripture says that any tree that does not bear fruit should be cut away but our trees will bear fruit in the name of the lord jesus christ that the raining of the lord will pour on us in the name of jesus that the heavens the floodgates of heaven will pour out in abundance unto us in the name of the lord jesus christ that the floodgates of heaven will pour on us in the name of jesus that the that the rains of the Lord will pour on us in the name of Jesus. Mashoto libro libro sata ke bronda dia suta libro kaya sata ni mama mamo shani akonda dia dia suta de boshata. The rains of the Lord pour on us in the name of Jesus. Let the rain of your presence, Lord. Let the rain of your presence, Lord. The rain of your presence may fall upon us, O God, in the name. Of Jesus, Masutundi Riadia Sota di Bakosha Tadi. That every day that we live on this earth, Kibo Shata, Libradia Sota, and Dikoka Yeseti. That every move that we make, that every breath that we take, that everything that we alter, Likosa Tadi Brusha Tali Kronda Dada Yeseti. Matu Dushate, Kinda Diado Shataha, Libruna Diasote, Kibro Shataha, Lama Nono Kunda Riado Shata, Kibrun Debradasi, Kibababu Shataha, Lema Dusoton de Riadado Shataha, Lord of Rain of God in the name of Jesus. Let your rain pour on us. Let your rain pour on us in the name of Jesus. We receive the former and the latter rain. We receive your rain. Your rain, O oh Lord, the former and the latter rain. May you rain in our thoughts. May you rain in our minds and may you rain. Libra sota, may you reign in our thoughts, O God. Libra sota, kikaka. Lembra do sata teke kika koko sunton de briadi sata kaka. Lebra do sata ke ando riane no sata ha. May you reign in our imaginations. Kabro sata ke bronda dadi ko nami ane sata mo sata kaka kaka sata. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, cause your rains to fall on us. In the name of Jesus. 
Lord, cause your rains to fall on us. Open the floodgates of heavens in abundance, Lord. Libra dosa taka. And cause your rains to fall on us. Let's cause your rains to fall on us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Cause your rains to fall in our lives, in our minds. Katisa to. Cause your rains to fall in our character. Libra dosa te. Let there be an adjustment. Kibro sata di brosa tadi kakakayo shata. Let your rains fall in our emotions. Libro sata niko sata di brosa taha. Let your rains fall in our thoughts, Kibra City, in our imaginations, in our thoughts, in our lives, in our workplace, Kibosa, in our homes, O oh Lord, in our homes, in our various places of work, Kadi, Asotadi, in our education, in our ministries, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Cause your rains, your former and your latter rains to fall on us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We speak your rain, La Brasota, Kakadu Shate, Le Brasota. Ne madua se se kembra do shata hade haka kaka o shata. Open the floodgates in abundance and cause your rain to pour me. Open the floodgates in abundance. And cause your rain to fall on me. Open the floodgate in abundance. And cause your rain to fall on me. Open the floodgate. In abundance and cause your rain to fall on me. Father, we pray that you open the floodgates of heavens in abundance and cause your rain, your latter rain, to pour on us, O God, in the name of Jesus. Cause your rain to pour on us, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the same vein, you pray for liberty, grace, and chapel, O God, in the name of Jesus, that you cause your rain to pour on the church, O God, in the name of Jesus. That you cause your rain to pour on the congregation, in the name of Jesus. That you cause your rain to work to pour on every pastor and every every church member and every person that works in the church in the name of Jesus, that your floodgates of heaven will open in abundance and pour on us, O oh God, that will pour on the church, that there will be abundance of rain, that there will be abundance of fruition, that there will be abundance of fruit, that our land will yield its fruit, that our land will yield its crops, that the trees will bear its fruit, that it will not be a barren place, that it will not be a barren land. There will not be a barren land in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For you've not called us to be barren. For you've not called that. You've not called us to be barren in the land. That will multiply. So we should be fruitful and multiply on this land. Being fruitful and being more and multiplying doesn't mean we'll be barren. So Lord, every barren place, every barren land, Cause your rains to fall on every barren land, Kibrosati. Every desert place is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That will begin to bear fruit for your glory, Librosata. That will begin to bear fruit for your glory. That will begin to bear fruit for your 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 praise, Kibro Sate de Bro Sate, Kibra di Sati, Le Mano no Kade de Dia Sota Cabro Sati, Le Mano Sata Cababa Bushe Tini Bro Sata, Le Baba Bo Sata Kena Riado Sata, Cause your reign, O God, your reign of peace, Libro Sate, your reign of joy, your reign of strength, Kibri Sete, Ia Koshate. Your reign in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We call forth your reign into each and every one of us, our lives, O God. Your reign into our homes, your reign. You said you will send us the seasonal rains, and our land will yield its crops, and the trees of the field will produce their fruit. And the trees of the field will produce their fruit. Kebrasota. Yemashota dia kosa te dia roshata. Lebrado sateka. It is raining all around me. I can feel it. It's a lot of rain. Right now, Jesus, give us more rain. 
unto we are filled, and we are filled in the latter rain. It is raining. There's a declaration all around me. I can feel it. It's the latter rain. Right now, Jesus, give us more rain. Until we are filled and we are so in the light of the rain. Let's sing it one more time. It is raining all around me. I can feel it. It's a lot of rain. Right now, Jesus, give us more rain until we are filled and we are so in the light of rain. Until we are filled and we are so in the light of rain. Let's move on to the let's move on to the next verse the verse five. Let's move on to the verse five. The scripture says that your threshing season will overlap with the grapefruit. And your grapefruit the the threshing season will overlap with the grape harvest. And your grape harvest will overlap with the season of planting grain. With your season of planting grain, you will eat your fill and live securely in your own land. Your, thresh, your threshing season will overlap with the grape harvest. And your grape harvest will overlap with the season of planting grain. You will eat your fill and live securely in your own land. Now I did a little research into this verse. And what I what I what I got was that there are different times when um you thresh you thresh your grains and there's a different season when you harvest your grapes and there's a different season when you plant your grains again and basically when we talk about threshing is separating like um, for instance corn, you are separating the husk from the corn itself. Uh, yeah. From the corn itself. The Lord is basically telling them that He'll give them so much in abundance that the time that they are supposed to be so during the time that they are harvesting their grapes or they are you know, they are harvesting their grains and they are threshing their grains, the grain should be so much it will be so much in abundance that it will be so much so that they wouldn't even have enough time to do all of that. Then the grapes will harvest. So you have so much in abundance that you have so much to eat, you have so much to work with. You have just so a lot. That's what abundance means. You have a lot. That the time frame that you have to just deal with your grains alone. You've not been able to exhaust your grains that the the grapes are also here and you have to harvest them. So there's so much in abundance for you. There's so much in abundance for you. So we are going to pray for the abundance of rain. That we have so much so that we'll be able to give to others. I think there's a scripture that says that He comforts you so much so that you'll be able to comfort others. Let's just apply, have the same application here that we will have so much, so much so that we will be able to feed others. So much so that some will even go off of us that we won't even notice that we've get, some have gone off of us. And we'll be able to have so much that we'll be able to offer unto the Lord to expand his ministry, to expand the ministry of the Lord, to, to do so much so for the Lord. To do so much for the Lord. So let's just pray that the Lord will give us so much that we'll be able to give to others, that we'll be able to invest into the ministry, that we'll be able to bless others with what we have, that we'll be able to 
to to feed off to feed others that people will be able to feed off of us without we lacking anything without we get going into debt without we going into um without we, we being barren without we, we not even noticing that we have so much in abundance that we have so much in abundance that we wouldn't even be able to keep track of what we have. That's what abundance is. The Lord, you pour onto us your abundant rain. That you pour onto us in abundance that we have so much harvest. That we have so much harvest that it will overlap in the next season of our lives. That it will overlap in the next harvest of our lives. That it will overlap in the next thing that we'll do. That we'll, we'll reign in the thing that we we'll do so much so that we wouldn't even have time to even comprehend the thing that you have given unto us. That we wouldn't even have the capacity to comprehend the blessings of the Lord in our lives. That we wouldn't have the capacity to be able to keep track of the blessings of the Lord in our lives. That months on end, months, day after day, month after month, he said his messages are new every morning. So are his blessings, so are his provisions unto us. They are new every morning. Madu sete bradu shata. That will be so much so that we'll be able to give unto others. Madu asate bronda bradi asota. Makoko di adu sate kebro shata. Lord, that you pour out so much so that we'll be able to give unto others. Kibrado shata. That we'll have an abundance that will never lack. Po shata bro sate. Le madu sete kebro shata di bro sata kebrado sate. That will never lack. That our threshing season will overlap with the grape harvest. Maso tande bro sate le bababu sate ki le brando sata ke kakoka le bro sate da kabro sata le bro dabo sata ke mo sata ke bro sate. That we only have much time to spend in our current pro- pro- promotion or position. That will be promoted onto the next level. La bro sata ne bro sate le babu sata kabra do sate ke manu sata brado sate le mama mu sate ke brado sate. But the abundance of the Lord overwhelm us me, I do sateke bro sate. Le mamo shande bro sata kablu sa de diatu da se. That we overwhelm him na se teke bo shata di. Lamro sa de akosa tabro shata ke bro shata. Le mamanu sateke ke brado sateke bababu shate. Mandua sate ke abro shata. Le ne brado shata kakakako nariado sate. Le mama manu sate ke anebro shata ke abo shata briado sate. Le maso, if you read the verse 9 and verse 10, it says that I will look favorably upon you, making you fertile and multiplying your people. And I will fulfill my covenant with you. You will have such surplus of crops that you will need to clear out the old grain to make room for the new harvest. That you will need to clear out the old grain to make room for the new harvest. That means that the old grain, and even with regard to the old grain, doesn't mean that those are things that have been there for a very long time. These are new things that the Lord has blessed you with. And He's going to give you so much so that they will seem that they are old things to you. They will seem as though they've been they've been there for a very long time. Masutebro Father, we pray for a surplus of crops, Tadia so Tadia. We pray for a surplus of blessings, Kibradu Shate Kibradosa. That will be such a surplus, Kabro Sate, that will overflow onto the people around us. There will be such a surplus in Liberty Grace Life Chapel that it will overflow into the communities around us, it will overflow into the towns around us, it will overflow into the regions around us maduse te bradusha kabradia sateha la mado sate ke brando sate ke abosa na wo overflow in your grace that wo overflow in your abundance that wo overflow kabro sate de braso ta de bradaso ta ke Mado do sate ke nario sate ke brado sate. That the Lord will look favorably upon us ki brado sata. That the favor of the Lord will be upon us ki baso taka. That the rains of the Lord will be upon us madu sate ke briaso. Ne brado sata ka brado sata ke mo sate. That will multiply ne bro sate. That will be fruitful and will multiply in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That will make us set our babu sate ke bro sate ke mando do kola riade sate. That the word of the Lord will multiply in us so much so that it will pour out onto others. Kibra Sotadi. That will pour out onto others for them to come to the realization of Christ. That will be able to draw from the Lord. Kibabu Sate. That they will be able to draw from the Lord for themselves. Tabaso Teki Adora Bo Sate. Lemra no Sate Kibra no Shapa de Asota. Liba Babu Sate Kibra do Sate Kena Dadi Asota de. 
and the rain of the Lord, Vibra Sota, will pour on us so much so that there will be surplus. Kibra de se tenda di ado sate. Le baba bo shasa ki ando radada do sate. Le baba bo shate ki ando ranane sate. Ne mano sata brado shasa kada. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, there's abundance. Kibra shasa kanda. Le brado shasa. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's abundance. Kibra sate. Ne brado shasa ni mo shanta ne krena no sata ke. Ne mamo in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Moshata di Brastuta Liba do Sateki, Liba do Satake, Bro Satake, Nimano Satakati, Namanu Sate, that even in these times when there's economic crisis, there are, there are, there are crises on the left, there are crises on the right. That even your salary that you complain now that is not enough for you, it will be enough for you from 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 the month from one month to the other. Even if it's not salary, whatever you are living on or whatever that you are depending on, that your sources will multiply. That your sources will multiply in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That will be so much so that ki basuta nebrado shate nebababu sate kende riado shata. Like when the 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 widow kabro sate the prophet went to her and and she had just enough to make bread for just one day for her and her family. But she still went on and fed the prophet and she there was a multiplication may there be a multiplication in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that the rains of the Lord will pour on us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that there will never be a lack or inadequacy that there will never be any lack in our ministries that there will never be any lack in our wisdom that the eyes of our understanding will be enlightened so much so that we will be able to understand the word of the Lord, he brought and apply it in our lives and, and walk in it. Cabro Sate, bro Sate, that do Sate, Brado Sate, that will not just be head knowledge, but do Sate, but will multiply in it. Cabro Sate, in the practicality of it, but so that they brought Sate, Cabase. That there will be that that will Sate, and do Sate. When you move on to the Ni madu a sete ki andu sata di bro da di asota ke kaka lo sate da busha li brando sate di bro sate ki badu a sate ki in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ when you move on to the when you move on to the verse six it says I will give you peace in the land. And you'll be able to sleep with no cause for fear. You'll be able to sleep with no cause for fear. I will raid the land of wild animals and keep your enemies out of the land. I will give you peace in the land. And you'll be able to sleep with no cause for fear. I will raid the land of wild animals and keep your enemies out of the land. Before I speak, in the verse 11, it says that I will live amongst you. And I will not despise you. And the verse also says, I will walk amongst you and I will be your God. And you will be my people. Therefore, it only means that where the Spirit of God is, His presence is. Where the Spirit of God is, that which is His presence, there is an abundance. So where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. There is abundance of liberty. There is abundance of freedom. There is abundance of, of security. There is abundance of, there is a breakthrough of the Lord. Kabrosa teki ada. Because the presence of the Lord is with us, He will give us peace in our land. He will give us peace in our land. He will, He will, He will, He will, He will cause us to be able to sleep and have no fear. Some of us we are so filled with doubt and fear that we forget that the presence of the Lord is with us. We forget that the presence of the Lord is with, is with us. He said in the verse eleven that He will live amongst us. He will live amongst us and he will walk amongst us. And where the, where the Lord is, there is no fear. There is the absence of fear. There is security. There is freedom. There is all of those. There is all of those. So I want us to lay hold on the fact that he said, I will give you peace in the land. I will be able to, you will be able to sleep with no cause for fear. And he, he will rid the land of wild animals and keep our enemies out of our land. That I will be peace on every side, cut them, dear sot and debro shati. That we will not fear that from the left to our right there's peace. That before we 
take a step, there's peace. He's made provision for us. There's peace ahead of us. There's peace behind us because we've left there. Where we've left, we left the presence of the Lord there. Therefore, there's peace behind us. So we don't need to look back to check and to check that, oh, Lord, is there peace? Is there is there freedom? Is there liberty there? That we're able to focus on what is ahead of us. Because the presence of the Lord is with us and has made room for us ahead of us. It's made room for us on our sides. It's made room for us in everywhere that we go. That there's peace on every side that we will not fear. We will not fear. La bro, shate ke brado, shate. That there's peace on every side for us. Mato do kaleri ano shate ke babo shate. Ma dia do shate ke amo shade abro shate. Ne mo mana ni ya ko shate ke brado shate. Na mamu shate ka dia shota. That we will not fear for any competition. That we will not fear for any skill sets. That we will not fear anybody in our workplace. That we will not fear anybody in our homes. That we will not fear our spouses. Ka do shate brando da dia kosa. Ne brado shata kendi ado shata. That we'll be able to fulfill the, the the word of the Lord upon our life, the calling of the Lord upon our life, without fear of anything that anybody in our homes will say, without fear of anything that any our spouses will say, without fear of anything that our spouse will do or our children might do or our bosses might do or our lecturers or our teachers or whoever is ahead or above us might do. Oh, my say against us, Maduse Tekiradosha, because we are bound in the peace of the Lord. We are bound in the presence of the Lord. Madua Kanea Dua Satekenda Ariadosha, Makakadua Sateke Bradosha, Takadiadosha, Nebron Nambrade Satekiadosha Takaka, Nebron Nananania Sotakaka, and you apply for a promotion that you apply for for a promotion and you will not fear the skill set of the other person in the office because the peace of the Lord because the abundance of the Lord is with you that will not fear for any sickness and ailments and, and diseases that will not fear the enemy that will not fear the I rose that flood by day or by night. Kibro shata ke ado shata ka. Lebra dia sota ke kaka ka kuwa sete ke adaba. Dua sete kenda rua sete. That will not fear any court case. Babu wa sate ke ado. Because the Lord has given you the land. Kibra do shata ke ke basha. The Lord has given you the land and it says it's yours. Lebra do shata ke ade. Who is man that speaks the word against the word that the Lord has declared. Kibro shate. When the Lord opens the gate. Kibro shate ke ade. Who is man that can close the gate. If the Lord opens or speaks a word, it can never return to him void. So if the Lord declares that he's giving you the land, who is man to say uh, to say another thing? Who is man to bring it to not? Because the Lord has spoken a word of our lives. The Lord has spoken a word of our lives and it can only come to fruition. But not brought to not. We will not fear floods or fires. We will not fear will not fear because where the presence of the Lord is the security, where the presence of the Lord is the enemy cannot make room. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, O ye Asian gates, for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is here, for the children of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is here, for the children, for the ones, the chosen generation of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is here. So lift up your heads so you get mad. For the presence of the Lord is in our midst. Nothing that you say will stand. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name the King of Kings, mighty in battle, mighty in victory, mighty kadu sata dibo bababu sate ke narotara. We walk confidently, boldly into the land that the Lord has given to us. We walk boldly into the place that the Lord has ordained for us. We walk boldly, confidently into the place that the Lord has ordained for us. Kabasote, no enemy can stand against, no narada diasota, no ailment can prevent us from walking into the place that the Lord has ordained for us. Masute de bradu. No court case can prevent us into walking and manifesting fully into the land that the Lord has brought us into. No fires or flood or, 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 or pestilence of the enemies can destroy that which the Lord has 
given unto us ke basota for the lord is strong and mighty in battle and mighty in victory debro sata therefore we are strong gadia sota ne ado sate what kadadia sota bradia sota ne ado sate god the lord has need of us because the lord has need of us and anybody that the lord has need of he makes provision for the person anybody that anything that the lord has need for he makes provision for the person so if the lord has made provision for us who are you man who who is man that can come against it who is man that can come against it who principalities or divinations or ordinances cabrado sate they do not have a stand they do not have a hold we say that libra do sate ke ando riane ne mo sataka every man that speaks a word against the word of the lord judge in the name of the lord jesus christ masuto de bradu sate ke baha libra do sata ke ando riana na ni asota ke le baba bu sate ke ando sata is only the provisions of the lord that will be our portion cabrado sate frailty illnesses court cases um diseases fires and floods all of those will not be our portion in the name of the lord jesus christ they will not be our portion in the name of the lord jesus christ when the lord healed the the, the leper and he picked up his mat and he was walking they asked him that where are you going to don't you know that it's a sabbath where why have you taken your mat he said the one who healed me said i should take up my mat and walk he said i should take up my mat and walk Therefore, the one who brought us onto the face of this earth, the one who has established our feet into the on the face of this earth, has asked us to take up our mat and walk. Has asked us to walk in His abundance. Has asked us to walk in His His glory. Has asked us to, to walk in His mercy. To walk in His grace. To walk in His fullness. To walk in His abundance. To walk in His under His open heavens. The one who has asked us to be here. The one who brought us here and asked us to walk in Him. Kadia sota niado shata. Therefore, we walk boldly, confidently. We walk boldly, irrespective of that which our family members will say, irrespective of that which the people around us will say, irrespective of that which our our, our co-workers will say, of that which our our colleagues will say. But do say take a brando shate. We walk confidently and boldly in the Lord. Keep brasota. Therefore, thieves will not break into our homes. Thieves will not break into our homes. Thieves will not break into our homes. Cabradosa. People will not steal our promotions from us. People will not steal that which is for us. That which the Lord has set aside for us. Cabradosa. Because the one who brought me to this earth says he has need of he has need of me. Therefore he has made provision for me. Therefore he has made provision for me, and I walk in every provision that is made for me. I walk in every provision that is made for me. I walk in His abundance. I walk in His supply. I walk in in in, in the surplus of the Lord. I walk. He said, I will receive such a surplus of crops that I will have no need of the old. I would have to clear the old out. We would have to clear the old out and make room for the new. We would have to clear the old out and make room for the new. Something just came to mind. That when the new comes, we would have to learn how to let go of the old. Because if we hold on to the old, there will be no room for the new ones to come. There will be no room for the new ones to come. So let's just pray for a minute or two and ask the Lord that to give us the grace to let go of the old. Any old thing that we are holding on to, you know yourself, you can ask the Lord that he should show you, reveal to you the old thing that you are still holding on to. Therefore, not making a room, not making room for that which, therefore, you are not making room for the new thing that he's made available for you. The Father, we pray, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father, that you show us the things that we are still holding on to, the old things. You said, if a man be in Christ is a new creation, all things are past. Behold, all things are new. Father, the brado sate ke brado shata. All all things that we are holding on to, be it physical, be it spiritual, be it emotional, be it psychological, Father, whatever thing that it may be, ko sata di bro sate ke brado sata. Father, we ask for your strength to let go of it in the name of Jesus. No matter how loquacious it looks, no matter how look, no matter how good it looks, no matter how satisfying it may feel, no matter how good it may feel 
may feel God in the name of Jesus we pray that Lord you help us let go of it in the name of the Lord Jesus Father we pray that you help us let go of it so that we'll be able to make room that we'll be able to make room for the new harvest in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that we'll be able to make room for the new harvest in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that there will be room for the new harvest that we won't hold on to the old things for in the old we cannot abound in it but in the new we'll be able to abound in it the word said that who pours new wine into the old um, wine skin this the best cut the asota father libra do shatter kebra do shatter help us let go of the old in the name of the lord jesus christ let's help us let go of the old in the name of the lord jesus christ basota librota diata now we'll be able to walk in the breakthrough labra sota now we'll be able to walk in the liberty of the lord libra do shati now we'll be able to walk in your freedom lord libra do shata now we're able to walk in your security, Labrosa. That it will cabrades the techniano shatiane. That our borders will be secured in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That our minds will be secured, Lebrado Shateki. Ne Madua Satike Brado Shati. That our hearts will be secured in you, Brado Satike Badua Sati. Le Baba Babu Saseke Andi. That all doubt will be driven out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That all doubt will be driven out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ki Baba Bua Sateke Mbrado Sati. The Lord you secure our body in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pass to take and this. The verse seven says that in fact you will chase down your enemies and slaughter them with your swords. Five of you will chase a hundred and a hundred of you will chase ten thousand. All your enemies will fall beneath your sword. All your enemies will so, will, will fall beneath your sword. In fact, you will chase down your enemies and slaughter them with your sword. Five of you will chase a hundred, and a hundred of you will chase ten thousand. All your enemies will fall beneath your sword. I was, I was on 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 Saturday when we went to church to pray. I was, I was extremely late, and when I got there, I think PM was the one leading prayer. Yes, PM was the one leading prayer, and. Before I got to the door, it was as though uh, I told PM that it felt as though a, a, a million people were in the room and they, they had lifted up a prayer onto the heavens. It was such a, a presence, such a voice that I heard coming from the, the room. And it felt as though it was a thousands and millions and millions of people. And the Lord showed me an army where there are thousands of people standing at a place and they've lifted up to the heavens. And when I walked into the room, I mean, there were less than, if you were there, you know the number of people, there were less than, I think, 20 people in the room. So then I, I, I said, I asked myself that, how come just these few people have been able to lift up, their voices are like um, um, an army, like a thousand and millions of people. And I remembered when the four leopards, as the case, when they walked, he says that it sounded to the enemies as though a thousands of a thousand of people were coming, like an army was coming. And that's what the Lord does to us. And now the scripture is saying that five of you will chase a hundred, and a hundred of you will chase ten thousand. Five of you will chase a hundred, and a hundred of you will chase ten thousand. And right now we are 34, we are 34 on, the, on FCC right now. So if five of us, just five of us, can chase a hundred, if just five of us can chase a hundred, if you multiply five by thirty-four, that's a lot of. That's a lot. If you if you multiply it, that's a lot of people. So, <clears throat> that the Lord will protect us. That He will cause our voice to raise to 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 sound as though it's an army. Kadu sete bradu sateke brado sate. The Lord has equipped us with everything that we need. The Lord has equipped us with everything that we need. Just like when the four leopards, they walked. He said, when I stay here, I'll perish. I'll, I'll, let me just go. Let us just go. And it sounded as though it was an army. In fact, you will chase down your enemies and slaughter them with your swords. Five of you will chase a hundred. And a hundred of you will chase ten thousand. All your enemies will fall beneath your sword. You might think that just you, you cannot chase down your enemies. 
you might think that just you, you might not, but you forget that it is not just you. You are a whole army of the Lord. Cabrado, they take a babo shate. That I will walk, cabro sate, in confidence. Cabro sate, bababo sate. That I will not think that it's just me. Cabro sate, babo shate. Now, we all 34 people here, we lift up, we, we lift up a prayer. In the form of an army unto the Lord. Cabrado shate. And we chase down our enemies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Not that you are so cabrado sate. Madodo dia colaria de sate, babosa. Our enemies fall on our side, Cabrado Sati. That everywhere that we go, our enemies fall on our side, Babu Sati. They do not have dominion over us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They do not have dominion over us. They will not have space. They will not have space. Cababu Sati, Cabrado Sati. Because the Lord is with us. Because the Lord is with us. The presence of the Lord dwells upon us. The presence of the Lord reigns in us. Therefore, our enemies will fall on our side and we will slaughter them with our souls. We will slaughter them with the words of our mouth. We overcome by blood. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. The blood of the Lamb has already been shed. Therefore, we, test, we testify. That our enemies fall on our side by the blood of the Lamb. Our enemies fall on our Outside in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that our enemies fall on our side, Kebro Sati, that that we stand against the promises of the Lord concerning our lives, that that we stand against our, our, our provisions, Kebro Sati, that that we stand against a Kuka, Lebradu Sati, Bradu Sati, Kiata, Nema Mama Sati, Kebrado Sati, may that fall, Kebrado Sati, Kebrado Sati, Keba, may we chase them away, we chase them out of our land, Kebrado Sati. We chase them out of our homes. We chase them out of our workplaces. We chase them out of our schools. We chase them out of our surroundings. We chase them out of our communities, out of our lands. Everywhere that affects us, we chase them out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Madua sete ke brado shate, and all our enemies we declare right now. They brought that you fall beneath the career do shate, that you fall beneath us. They brado shate ke basu, they brado sata kakadosa. We call the wrath of the Lord against you. Madua sete brado shate, for we are an and we are an army kabro shate that has risen kabro sata kabradi asota de basota ka. We are an army that has risen kabro sate ke babu shate, for the Lord looks favorably upon us. Ke braso taka ya, and he multiplies us. He makes us fertile, Cabrado Satan, and he multiplies us. He makes us fertile, Cabrado Satan, and he multiplies us. He makes us fertile, Cabrado Satan, and he Matudu sete bradu sete ye baba babo sata ke brado sate ke baba baso te ke brade ni mandu sete ke mano sate ni mania do sate ke ande rananinga sota ke basota in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that every 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 doubt every every kasa ta bro sate ke abu sata ke abu sa we subject every doubt ke brasota to the feet of the Lord in the name of Jesus ke bro sate every doubt in our hearts every doubt in our minds every doubt in our spirit ke lo sa ni bro sate we subject it to the judgment of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for we have hope in Jesus. Keep brado sate ki. Madia sota dia dia bro sate. We have hope in Jesus. We know the God in whom we serve. Keep brado sate. We know who we are in Christ. Keep basata kiyano na ni sate. We know what we have in Christ, and we know what He's called us unto. Bababu sate. Therefore, the enemy, whatever you say, keep brado sate ki ata. It will not stand. They will not have a hold. Keep brado sa. It will not have a hold. Keep brado sa. Every seed of doubt, kibo satete bradosa, that you planted in our hearts and in our minds, kibasute nebroda. We declare you are fruited in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We declare you are fruited in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Maso tabradia sete, ne mano sate ki anosa, ne ma 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 sota de abosha. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name, ne basota. The Lord has enabled us. Keep our shota, the abosha. Nebra shota. The Lord has enabled us. Therefore, fears run. Fears run. The old men run away. Kabro sate. Ne manu sate ki andu. Ranano shata. Wastage runs away. Kabro sata. There will be power. We have dominion and power over darkness. The Lord brings the policy over the forces of darkness. Kiga kosa sate ki andu. We have power over the decisions of men. Because when God speaks the word, no man can stand against it. Keep our shote. Ne anu sate ki andu. Ranano. Ne manu sate. Therefore, we approach boldly into the provisions that the Lord has made for us. We approach boldly. 
because the Lord has made a covenant with us. The Lord has made a covenant with us. And he is not a man that should lie or a son of man that should repent. The Lord has made a covenant with us. Therefore, our enemies fall on every side. Therefore, our enemies fall on every side. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It says, I will look favorably upon you, making you fertile and multiplying your people. I will fulfill my covenant with you. The Lord has a covenant with us. The, <coughs> the Lord has a covenant with us. And he will fulfill everything that he is set to do. Even my own fears cannot inhibit me from walking into the glory of the Lord. Even my own fears and my own doubts and my little faith cannot inhibit me from walking into that which the Lord has ordained me into. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, his seal of ownership is upon us. Everywhere we go, the brassota, his stamp of ownership is upon us, the brassota. The brassota, the riadosa, therefore we walk into rooms, we walk into rooms that nobody would think that we could ever walk into. We walk into places, they dare so carrying his authority. We are places where nobody could ever think that we could ever walk into, because we carry his authority and his power and his might, the brassota. The reigning of the Lord, Paul on us, the brassota. Therefore, when we raise our voice, heavens responds to us. When we raise our voice, the enemies fall. When we raise our voice, things fall into pleasant places. So the lands are falling into pleasant places for us. When we raise our voice, things fall into place in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But they are so. God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. Has he said it and will he not do it? Has he said it and will he not do it? Libra sota, libra sota, libra sota. Therefore, we take our place, Cabra sota. We get up and we take our place. We take our position. We take our position right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We take our position in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We take our place. We cannot be walking while the servants ride on horses back. We take our position in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We procrastinate no more. We procrastinate no more. We say now, right now. For the Lord has declared a thing. It is up to us to take our position and take our place in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For the Lord has spoken his word. It is our time to take our place in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The boundary lines are falling for us in pleasant places. Surely we will delight in our inheritance. Surely we will delight in our inheritance. We delight in our inheritance. Madua sate broda dia sote. Ni madua sete. Ni madua sete. Ke manua sete. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus There are a lot of things that are running into my mind, but I want us to, um, I think we have just about two more minutes. And um, I feel like we should just stand in the gap for people in our lives. Anybody that comes to mind. With the rest of the two minutes or one one minute and thirty seconds, let's just stand in the gap for people that comes to that comes to mind. The scripture says that Christ told Peter that the devil sought to sift you like wheat, but I've prayed for you. He stood in the gap for Peter. When Esther started in the gap for her people, there are a lot of people that that have not come to know Christ, or that that they've come to know Christ, but they are in bondages. I wish we had more time for this, but. They are in bondage. Let's just, just for the next one minute, let's just stand in the gap for them. You just stand in the gap for them. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up a prayer. Mention the person's name. Maybe because I am here, I can't mention the person's name. But mention the person's name that comes to mind. <coughs> and I lift up a prayer. 
Father, that the chains be broken in the name of Jesus. Father, that you deliver her from the hands of the enemy, that you deliver her from the snare of the fowler in the name of Jesus. The Father, Libro, Nania, Kosati, every unnatural thing that she is involved in, in Yano, Sati, Rananu, Sati, Kebro, Sati, we declare broken in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Set her free, Lord, Ero, Sati, Kebro, Sati, the one says that you set the legal captives free, Kabro, Sati, Libro, Sati, Libra, do, Sati, we declare your freedom for her in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Nima, Sati, Dia, do, Sati, Lariano, Sati, Kebro, Sati, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we are so grateful for this time of prayer, this time of proclamation. We thank you for your presence, and we know that if you speak a word, it comes to pass. And forever, O oh Lord, your word is settled. In the name of Jesus, that we pray in. Amen. Um, there will be service this evening, so please do well to join us. If you can, please come to church and let us pray together. And please continue fasting. God bless you.